Okay, so there's a few things you'll never get from me. I'm never going to speak about trivial politics. It's never going to be trivial. I'm never going to talk about weed, whether it should be legalized or illegalized. I'm never going to talk about gay marriage. I'm never going to talk about this shit. I'm never going to talk about that shit. Why? Because these are issues that I simply say should be left to polycentric law. What that means is that because these are the kinds of things where they kind of flip-flop, there might be conservative times or there might be more liberal times, that in actuality these are things that shouldn't be made into a right or made into something that's forbidden until it gyrates into something more stable. That's my perspective. Right now, um, the views on abortion keep flip-flopping. But once it becomes something that's stabilized, something that's sterilized, then you can focus on laws. Because the thing is that I don't follow the Euro trash libertarian natural rights bullshit. My opinion there aren't any objectified natural rights. My perspective is that really laws are meant bring order to society, but if it keeps flip-flopping like this, then you're essentially making laws to do the opposite. You're making the laws to create nominal order, which will only work for like five minutes and it's going to go back into controversy. That's undesirable. I'm a New Yorker and this gay marriage was legalized or something. Now everyone's getting pissed off, and some guys saying, Oh, I don't want the gays to get married, and people who start throwing bad arguments, that like, gays are people too. But that's just what's natural. The case is that most people think that the left is the ideal spot, and that it's all going to shift to left, but it's really shifting right now. It's just a cycle. It's going back and forth. Back and forth. Anyway, what's the point of what I'm trying to say? What I'm trying to say is that you got to understand how law works. You can't just make things illegal or illegal. I mean, illegal or legal for no apparent reason. There has to be a systematic function to these laws. A systematic purpose to restore order. And if you're just making a law because you think something is right but it's just gonna fuck up shit, then not restore an order at all. Now, if you want my actual opinion, this is what I gotta say. If I actually did have a stance that I'd like to publicly put out there, it's that I don't even think marriage should be legal to anybody. In my opinion, marriage, if I was some sort of tyrannical douchebag, would be a human rights violation. That's what I'd say if I was a leftist libertarian, a Euro trash libertarian. But, because I'm not, I'm just gonna say it's too mixed at the moment the views. There's no central arguments to any side. I can tell just by the idiots who get mad at each other. Well, I don't like gay, so I don't want gay marriage. And the other person says, it doesn't matter. Gays are people too. As if they're trying to be indifferent. As if indifference is a sign of being liberal. Instead of just stark anti-conservatism.
just, it's just dumb. It's just a bunch of red herrings, ad hominem, straw men, and begging the question. These people love logical fallacies because they're just average douchebags. Fuck everyone. That's the way I like to say. Don't get into this law bullshit. Until there's a stability, don't try and lobby anything. I don't even participate in democracy. You do realize that if you participate in a representative democracy, you're empowering that representative democracy fantasy structure, which is probably just going to lead to more lobbying of the state. It's probably just going to strengthen up the corporations. And it's going to fuck up shit. So, there you have it.